Good morning YouTube. Today is the January 7th, 2017 and this is second part on my uh, understanding of uh, narcissism and the left in Europe and uh, how these people also might um, tick inside, inside of them, what is moving them to be what they are, who they are, where they are. So first part is another narcissistic trait. When narcissist cannot control something, he will seek to destroy that. And you can see that symbolical, um, you know, face showing when uh, leftists, when they have massive demonstrations and when they start destroying a property. And this is the part when they are exhibiting their true nature, the true hate. So first thing, when they have power in a certain place, street or a square goes into destruction against somebody's private property. So notice. That doesn't have to be the big evil corporation like McDonald's, quote to quote. But it can be your private property, it can be your car, it can be your scooter, it can be your little shop. It can be something you can't really afford to rebuild again. You might not even have insurance for anarchists burning your shop. Okay? They don't give a shit about that. Because if you are not them, you must be destroyed. This is how they think emotionally. Okay? So, I already described the, uh, what I understand as narcissistic traits, uh, feeling of superiority, leftists and their cousins, Islamists, they have this feeling of utter moral superiority, God given in a later case. They are destructive towards everything they don't control, that's why they're you not know, the, I see Islamists as leftists really, or I see left and Islam as, as one unit, it's like pedophilia and LBG this scene, it's just part of the scene it's there and sometimes this part of the scene is working sometimes that part of the scene is working but for me and more Europeans are seeing that as a one unity and then another thing you will see in the uh, narcissistic way of mind is uh, of course this is the mind which really lives in its own reality however more and more people are sharing this sick reality not because they are born as a narcissist but because they've been raised and trained by the narcissist and, uh, and uh, you know, start to exhibit their traits. Because do not forget, narcissists rule with, uh, through their uh, lieutenants or flying monkeys. And these leftists and Islamists are the, you know, at this time in Europe, the flying monkeys of the narcissists, of the psychopaths. So, another trait, Feeling of superiority, aggression, yeah, a total fakeness, but very good image. Of course, anti-fascists, they have excellent image. Anti-fascists. If you're anti-fascist, if you're anti-totalitarian, how can you be bad if you're against totalitarian system? However, and this is the, this is the logic which, uh, you know, psychopathic brain cannot see. Fascism is when private corporations are financing either a political party or you know whatever government they form a government and then they own the the state you know uh, the classical example of the fascist Italy where like Fiat and a couple of other co corporations own the Italian government and decided where they're you know, gonna go to war and blah and pick up other places like Albania and uh, uh, Ethiopia Eritrea at the time so this is classic so modern fascists are also working for the private capital that private capital is coming from Soros not only Soros, Soros is just a guy we all know, but it's coming from the reptilian system. Okay, they work through the NGOs. Right? This is new, just a new form of fascism. They don't call themselves anymore a fascist party or not National Socialist Party. They call themselves NGOs, the progressives. Okay, and they have the perfect image. You see, out front they are totally against it, but behind that, just follow the money. Money is coming from the fascist system. Therefore, they are fascists. Okay, it's clear-cut example, it's, you know, logic and everything and evidence, but not to them. And why not to them is I will now try to explain how the dreadlocks covered brain is working. So, and I'm sure that some of them are going to be watching this. Hello. Um, so, that brain is working in, um, you have to understand the European male or female or individual is simply isolated and he is always looking for a group so what Antifa is giving them 
is what every other cult is giving them. They're giving them the feeling of belonging, the feeling of group, especially teenagers and adolescent people. They really need to have this peer uh, support, the peer uh, approval of their worth. And of course, uh, young people are mostly those uh, with uh, you know, hooded and um, destroying and attacking other people, right? And promoting uh, sick agendas. So, first thing is they gain the approval of the group that wolf. What we say in Croatian, među ljudima je toplo, ali smrdi, krleža. Among people is warm, but it stings. Miroslav Krleža. A writer. We all know about him. <laughs> and um, so this is very first thing, but that is not only. See, with, with a group you have all other little benefits. You can have sex. This is very important. That's what young people want. They have sex within the group. Just a little factor nobody's noticing, right? They have booze. They have little drugs. Uh, they can play movies in molecular like NGOs where I was in Croatia among anti-fascists. Hanging out a couple of times. Nice people. So, uh, and yeah, of course, their NGOs are always big and very well oiled. Oil. This NGO was doing excellent. They had excellent excellent space right in the harbor huge like one floor of a very big building um, you know lots of toys inside equipment all these NGOs uh, Soros NGOs they, they don't like they don't like the money they just fly through the system they pay their bills they get their shit you know and this is another thing you can always always uh, do some projects inside for the system and always milk some money so there is it's a livelihood right and if you're really successful in that system you're gonna have family with a member of the system and you're gonna be running the NGO you know this is another thing so you can also procreate within the system and grow the un another professional generation of the dreadlocks people but when the money is in the system they look very nice but they still have dreadlocks but everything on them is nice you know, nice quality clothes money inside so I just describe you some other motives uh, what is it dragging them inside and um, also feeling of power when people are in a group especially male when they are in a group they automatically have this uh, you know gang feeling and the how you call it the tribal mentality that 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 all all brings uh, and do not forget that also they it helps people to feel good with themselves like both Islamists and uh, Leftists, they organize uh, the public kitchen. They give people food, uh, poor people food. So you know, it's it's excellent feeling for the for the ego, because it's totally ego thing. Uh, buying these uh, little points uh, with the money they get from the system to you know make everybody look better. Their sponsor, the open society themselves, who are you know, hrana neorugje, food, not weapons, and so on. And Sounds good, right? Food, not weapons. I don't have weapons. Nobody in Croatia has weapons, really. If you're not mafia or police, you simply don't. Trust me, it's simply how it is. Excellent. So, no weapons, like in England, and it's so easy to be raped, right? See how it works. But you got what? But you got what? Uh, one one plate of yota of beans. You got some beans, you know, peanuts, you would say. As exchange, this is what Leps gives you. It gives you a plate of food for exchange for your rights to bear arms, to have arms at all. As a citizen, not as a as a gang, not as a Illuminati gang. They they have all. We just have nothing. <laughs> and um, so this is how they operate. It's very good. It's very effective system. Okay, and um, I can understand because I was one of them. When I was 16, when I was 17, I was I was punk rocker. I was part of that scene, and okay, so I remained uh, part of that scene, knowing people like uh, many many years after that. But I was uh, not in that illusion anymore. I met these guys, which I think find very nice guys on a you know first impression. When uh, I was organizing uh, back in the day, side guys, you know the side guys movement. Yeah, that's also a weird story. But uh, anyway, I was organizing first, second, third side guys putting posters and organizing that in, you know, uh, my NGO, which was not mine at all, <laughs> where I was uh, showing these uh, movies. 
and they've been showing also Thai guys in, in their NGO. So you know, after that, we went there to hang out and had a, have a nice time. I noticed that these people they don't really have at all deeper conspiratorial understanding. They see everything as a, a capitalism. Capitalism is good. Fight the capitalism. Fight the big banks, big corporations. So they live in that delusion that you know this is where the evil is and this is the top of what they see. Oh, big bank, big corporation, capitalism. Long live Chomsky, you know, very cheap discourse. But um, this is uh, this is how evil is uh, uh, ruling the people. See, everybody sees very small part of the truth. Islamists uh, see their part of the truth. Leftists they see their part of the truth. Nationalists they see, oh, you know, we're gonna protect our nation. We're gonna make Europe strong, and we're gonna exit the Europe, and we uh, we're gonna deal with the immigrants. It's just some bullshit. It's all fake. Just trying to explain everything from different angles. So that was uh, that was about the uh, left. But see, common common tribal traits uh, and uh, are exhibited in all groups. Next thing is uh, is the trap. See, every professional, well-oiled, run NGO is Illuminati NGO. If you have left movement in your city, in your town. It's run by them. It can't be a mistake. Uh, other NGOs, what I know from my experience, who are really at the side, they are totally at the side. To, you know, if they have some uh, uh, some space to exist, it's like maximum. Uh, because uh, if you're not part of the system, you're not going to be ge generating revenue. And uh, there are exceptions which are like really surviving thanks to their own activities, like Spirit in Rijeka and so on. Not many of them, but uh, they're insignificant, politically insignificant and socially totally insignificant. But, you know, existing because people exist, people simply continue their lives and continue good, good deeds in small, in small and independent NGOs. So, but these guys like still remember when they got uh, money for, uh, for Apple computer from Soros uh, back in 2002. They still have the same computer. Still work. <laughs> they managed to get money you know, doing, uh, I don't know what was the thing, uh, how they justified it. Some, some, one, of the pro one of the hundreds of projects simply managed to get through and they got the cash. You know, so that's the level. Maximum. <laughs> 15 almost years ago, 10,000 kuna, like $2,000 at the time. So, yeah. That was my talk on the political left. Uh, why I find the narcissist? I think I should like. Uh, I think I could like say uh, far more things, but um, at the end we always come back to the same thing. Is it pointless to debate with them? Yeah, it is, because you cannot uh, you cannot have a debate with somebody which is simply reflecting the pre-programmed answers. You're not you're not reflecting with a computer. You are reflecting with the with the biological unit programmed by the artificial intelligence probably doesn't even have a soul. It simply got programmed by the system and reflecting the programming. Oh, don't you think that we have way too many rapes in Europe? You are a racist. No, come on, let's be serious, you know, you know statistics? Ah, you see, you see, you see how, how stupid you are, huh? You judgmental. Hello, anybody, this guy, is he still still working here? And then you move away and fired. This is debate with them. You raise your voice. You get fired, and uh, this uh, another fine example of how the invisible reptilian hand is just working through different groups, controlling all the system, but simply using now that part of the system, this antifa, this leftist, as an official fascist of the system, at least for Europe, you know. And uh, after you really need to be incredibly, incredibly mind-controlled and incredibly uh, tortured by the system, afraid of the system. And I can understand that. Uh, not to see the Muslim rape of Europe. If you are really mind-controlled, and so many of them are, you're simply not going to notice it. Okay? And this is the, the utter power of all these groups on the ground, which are simply harassing people 
harassing almost on a daily basis and anti-fascists are one of them like i heard uh, lately in uh, uh, Cologne, in Cologne, for this new year, you, you, you remember that the previous new year, uh, hundreds of women got sexually harassed. Uh, 28 uh, cases of rape were reported, and we know that one in 10 gets reported. So if 30 of them got reported, then at least 300 of them happened. Okay? And if 1,000 people reported the harassment or uh, theft, 1,200, then it was far more than that. So it was simply massive attack. They tried to repeat the same thing this year, and police reacted. There was like 1,700 police officers and 1,000 Arabs. So they simply excluded one group, you know, the core group. They excluded leftists. They attacked them uh, verbally and in media for racially profiling. Okay. And so this is the this is the uh, uh, just illogical narcissistic card they're playing all the time. We all know who are the rapists. Okay. You, you see them on the street. You see how they are be, uh, behaving, disrespectful, kissing, and, and so on. You know these these guys are trouble. You can anybody who's streetwise, anybody who's about 15 and walked like two years on the street, uh, just noticing things, knows these things. However, political left doesn't. They know it very well. They are lying in your face because they are adjusting your reality. This is the clearest example of the massive gaslighting. We in Europe, we are. An Paradoxically, I am now in uh, Cambodia, but in my mind, in my heart, I'm in Europe. I'm with my people. Here, I'm not with my people at all. They remind me every night when they're telling me to fuck off. So, you know, uh, just another thing about uh, judging people of different cultures before you live with them. <laughs> just, just, just another little, little tip, you know, like I could like uh, go into that, but, you know, now, like, living with the Khmer all these years, if I would hear in Europe that there is massive immigration of men in Europe, I would be first start screaming, No, don't do it. You have no idea. You have no idea. The smiles are fake. There's something completely else. And this is what people who lived in the British Empire and different parts of the empire started to shout when they started to get Pakistanis saying, You have no fucking idea what are you getting into the country. But you know, you cannot help people which are simply tools, tools of the metaphysical evil, if you want to put it. Because this is what it is. So, I felt I want to say something else, and I'm, you know, I know that I'm talking a lot, and uh, I'm not editing my stuff because I just don't have. A, I, I upload so many things every day, so I just don't have time for that. Uh, honestly, <laughs> um, narcissistic traits. Oh yeah, when you start debating with them over the rape of Europe. They, they go immediately aggressive, ballistic, and I know, I know I'm coming back and back and back, uh, but um, you people who are still mentally sane, okay, and this is like a clear expression, you who are still mentally sane, and who are watching this, we are watching, of course, uh, my thoughts are on pederastia agenda right now, uh, how prostitution get, got legalized in California for underage prostitutes. You define underage under 18. You know, in theory, it can be zero, it can be baby. And if uh, that is legalized, then of course, that uh, pornography will be legalized very soon, if already not, and uh, makes whole trafficking thing a lot more easier because formally, even that good police officer who was there, maybe sometimes doing his job against his, uh, you know, pimps who are his superiors in his police station and on the ground of course money is rolling and people are disappearing so it's a system's job even that good guy who would be maybe lasting in police force for five years maybe saving some girls my, my, some boys that guy is now off the off the game so you can see that uh, that evil um, political agenda working through many many hands now in this day and age through the uh, political left globally and of course, California is a two-thirds controlled by the liberals, Democrats, and they have affinity for rape, big time, right? And um, and again, try to mention that political left, and they're gonna go immediately start playing these victim cards. You can't stop people loving them, each other. Age doesn't know for love. 
You shouldn't be so judgmental. You're fucking white racist. You're angry white man. Shut the fuck up. Hey, is still is this still working here? He was judging. He was judging the 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 love between uh, different age groups. He is hater. He is so hater. I want this guy out of here. I don't I don't feel safe. You know, I, I can't play with the children comfortably when this guy is there judging me. And this is the problem. And. Um, Another problem is that uh, more and more people are uh, simply siding with that evil, you know, average people. And this brings me to my topic of my, uh, organic portals. Again, again, and again, and again. If you watch social media, if you, if you listen to what's going on on the street, average people simply don't give a shit about pedophilia uh, uh, prog uh, now being introduced as a, as a normal thing. Oh, it's just a thing in the brain. Pedo's been born this way, you know. If it's natural, it can be bad, you know. And then, then, and then, all these poor little sheeple, which of course never had any intuitive contact with the metaphysical truth, because they're soulless. They just go, Oop, I don't care. I'm okay, Jack. I'm okay, Jack. And this is how they rule. They rule by the mentality. I'm okay, Jack. So I was I started to talk about uh, narcissists and left, but at the end I just came back uh, to the personal responsibility. What you gonna do about it? What you gonna do about it? Uh, clearly you gotta do something. You get to. In times like this, um, you will be really you will be later spiritually sorry if you didn't even try to object. You know, you know, you know that question. Maybe we could do something. Well, ah, guys like me, we are at least trying to do something. So what if uh, guys like me die <clears throat> while fighting this fight? It's not a big, that big deal. It's it's better it's better to die uh, while trying to do something or you know, not do anything. You understand me? Okay, with this I finish.